Alright everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today we are going to be smoking on the Ramon Boeso Genesis Oscuro. And it's just your typical cylindrical amazing cigar. So let's get into it. We got a picture of it here. <laughs> we have a Connecticut broadleaf wrapper that is very dark in age. It's the Oscuro. It's one step darker than a Maduro with a Honduran binder and a Dominican, Honduran, and Nicaraguan filler. So, <laughs> should be earthy, a little bit of espresso, chocolate notes, your typical flavors you get from the cigar. So, I'm excited to dive into it. It's interesting you're going to go right for a Connecticut. Connecticut Broadleaf. Broadleaf, yes. Not to be confused with a Pennsylvania Broadleaf, which is a little bit more rough around the edges. Ooh, Thicker stems and veining. Typically a little harsher. I'm gonna go with a punch today. Because I'm feeling spicy. <laughs> hey, these spicy balls on the V cut. <laughs> you can get spicy in any way you want. There's no. Uh... Are you talking about cigars? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one, I'm one goes still talking about cigars. I'm talking about much more than cigars. Oh. <laughs> go deeper if you want. <laughs> oh my God. Remember, it's what you asked for. <laughs> oh, size doesn't matter, does it? <laughs> Motion of the ocean. <laughs> so it smells kind of sweet, milk chocolate, a little earthiness. Let's get into the uh, dry puff here. Very, very milk chocolatey, very semi-sweet, and there's a touch of like caramel sweetness in there too. It's very sweet. Hmm. You know, a little like barnyard, hay, something of the sort. I'll check back in with you when we get this lit up and uh, we'll get that review going. All right, everybody, got this bad boy lit up. I'm gonna try out this first puff here and see what we get. Retro Ale has a lot of pepper. There's some dark chocolate notes there, grassy, farmyard. Um, chocolate on the cold draw tasted more milk chocolatey, like a powder for like a hot chocolate now once it's lit it's more of that dark chocolate bolder less sweet flavor uh, a little bit of like black pepper note there um let's see what else we get yeah yeah that's about it for now dark chocolate some grassy notes some barnyard and a uh, touch of black pepper i'm excited We'll uh, check back in with you in the first third and see how this guy progresses. Cheers. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we are completely through the first third here. Flavor has not changed too much. It's kind of developed more bold. The sweetness is gone. Forefront of the flavor is still chocolate, dark chocolate. A little espresso and black pepper. So nothing's really changed. Retro hail is a little spicier than it was before. Um, I'm gonna chalk that up to heat. The heat of the smoke as it exits my nose creates a, a spicy sensation, my eyes watering. But flavor wise, stayed the same. Um, very consistent, this cigar. So we'll see if it kind of progresses and changes a little bit into the second third as we get there. My guess is that it won't because it's been very consistent so far, um, which I like, you know, I like a cigar that progresses, but the flavor that this is presenting is right in my wheelhouse of flavors that I like. Pepper, coffee, barnyard. Um, so far, so good. We'll check in with you at the second third. Cheers. All right, ladies and gentlemen, my apologies. I got carried away with the conversation. I did 
completely skipped through the second third. Um, not much changed. A lot of the same flavor. Here towards the end, uh, you're getting more of the influence from the wrapper, um, which is giving me more of that kind of dark chocolate flavor. So it's kind of introduced itself back into the mix. Um, still peppery, very black pepper forward. The semi-sweet dark chocolate, and um, now it's very prominent with that barnyard grassiness. So um, that dark chocolate probably has a little bit of espresso in there, just a little bit. Um, overall, I will say that this cigar, if anything, one word, I'd say consistent. Out of the same flavors throughout, um, the development's just kind of gotten more bold in those darker flavor notes, the earthiness, and uh, it's, it's an oscuro wrapper. It's very dark, it's very bold. Um, so you're, you're going to get more of that as you, as you progress. Um, that filler um, was Dominican, Honduran, Nicaraguan. It's got a blend of a lot of things going on. So again, similar to um, Georgie over here, it, it is the opposite of, of a puro. You're going to get a medley of flavor in here. Um, it's good. It's really, really good. Um, for me personally, I'm going to rate this cigar an 88. Um, I say that because... While it did have the bold notes and the things that I enjoy, some of those lesser prominent notes didn't shine through and blend and complement each other as much as some other cigars that I've had that will rate 95 or something like that. That being said, 88 is a really high score. And um, go to your local cigar shop and try one out. You might like it better than I did and think it's a 98. I don't know. Um, it, it's a great cigar and Oh, I've never had a Ramon Bueso before, but I, I'm going to buy another one and stock it in my humidor because I did like it. Thank you for watching. This is extracted from our main podcast on the channel. This week we were talking about Thanksgiving and everything we're grateful for, and I'm grateful for you. Everything that you bring in my life into this channel. And for that, there's not much left I can say other than... See you next week. Cheers.